We're so glad you could join us today for another story with CB. And today we're going to talk about leftovers. So let's get CB up here and let's talk about leftovers for a few minutes. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Good. Well, today we're going to talk about leftovers. Leftovers? Yeah. Wow. You know, we have containers like this at our house. Yeah. Sometimes you might have a little bit of food to put in them. Sometimes you may have a lot of food. You know, sometimes we make more food than we need, so we have some left the next night. That's right. Our family eats leftovers. Pastor Lee said he lived in college on leftover pizza. Oh, cold pizza? Every morning for breakfast. Yuck. The breakfast of champions. Oh, maybe so. But we're going to talk about today, about how Jesus used leftovers in a in a huge way. Okay. Okay? Sure. So Jesus was teaching and preaching and there happened to be 5,000 people there that day. Wow. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. And he'd been teaching and the crowd had been there for most of the day and it was almost dinner time. Hmm. And he looked around and over the crowd and he looked to one of his disciples whose name was Philip. And he said, where are we going to buy bread for all of these people to eat? That's a lot of bread. That's a lot of bread. You know, they didn't have things like we do today. No, no food lion. No. Or Walmart. Walmart. McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. So they couldn't just go buy food. Nope. And they were out in, in by the river, so they didn't have a way to cook it except by fire. Hmm. It would take them a long time to cook food for that many people, sure. wouldn't it? Yeah. So, you know, Philip said, even even if we could go buy food, it would take eight months' wages to buy enough food for all these people to just have one bite. Wow. So he was saying he had to work eight months just to buy enough food for all those people. That's a lot. That's a lot of food. And so one of the other disciples came to Jesus, and he said, you know, there is one little boy here today, and he has five pieces of bread... And two small fish. Wait. One little boy. One little boy. Has five fishes. Five loaves of bread. Five loaves of bread. And two fish. Two fishes. And that's all he had. Wow. And Jesus said, That's okay. Bring it to me. Wow. So Jesus is about to do something really. He's wonderful. gonna feed all those people with just that little bit of leftovers? Yeah. You know what he did? What? He took the food and he blessed it. Wow. He had a blessing over it. And then he started to break it into pieces. And they started passing the food around. And everybody had enough food to eat. Amazing. Until they were full. Wow. And then Jesus said, you know what? There are leftovers. So I don't want to waste anything. So they gathered up all the food in all the baskets they could find that was left over. And you know how many baskets they filled? How many? Twelve. Twelve leftover baskets? Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so five pieces of bread. Five bread. Two fish. Two fishes. Fed 5,000 people. Wow. And only because Jesus blessed it. That's right. That's right. You know, we can learn a lot from the story. One lesson is the little boy had bread and fish, and he was willing to share what he had, and Jesus used it to feed a huge crowd. So the first thing is he shared, right? That's right. The little boy shared, and Jesus blessed. He did. And another lesson we can learn is that God often blesses us with more than we need. Sure. And when that happens... What we do with the leftovers is up to us. That's right. That's right. So, you know, those disciples gathered up all that food, and I would imagine they didn't let it waste. No. I'm sure they fed it to some people that were hungry. Sure. So, you know, some of us have a little. Some of us have been blessed with a lot. But either way, God is pleased when we share what we have with others. That's right. Might be something small, like just you know, an egg or some sugar when somebody runs out and they have a recipe next door. But you know what? God can do amazing things with what we have, even with our life, if we just share it with Him. Wow. You know? 
we need to thank God for all of our blessings today and and ask him to help us share. Okay? Can okay. you pray for us? Sure. Okay. Let's pray. Oh Lord, we thank you for blessings. And we thank you for the story where one little boy was willing to share what he had and the Lord blessed it. And he met the needs of over 5,000 people. Thank you, Lord, for that story. Thank you for reminding us that you provide and that you bless. Lead us now, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name we ask all these things. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have something special going on in our church this week. Can you share that with the kids? Sure. If you live in the local area around Heathville, join us starting Monday for Vacation Bible School, 6 to 8 p.m. each night, Monday through Thursday. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. It's good to see you. See you next week. Bye-bye. All right. You know, we learned a lot today. Jesus took what this little boy had because he shared, and he blessed it, and he blessed it with sharing with a lot of people. So this week... Let's remember to share. And you have a good day, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <music>